like the media is like, oh, this is such a big deal. This is blah, blah, blah. And it's like, it, why are we being told it's such a big deal? I mean, what else is out there that we should be paying more attention to? And, of course, the the reservation in Dakota, that's one of the things that we should be able to pay more attention to. But instead, mm-hmm. we're too busy focusing on this little stuff. Yep. Mm-hmm. And it's like, and if you read about it, his jersey sales are better. His jersey, Colin Kaepernick, the quarterback, the secondary quarterback, his jersey sales are better than they were in the last eight months combined. So you mm-hmm. look at it. Is he doing this for jersey sales? He says he'll donate the money, but, I mean, in reality, people do that because it's, yes, they do it because they want to, but it's also a tax deduction when you donate. But it's, is he doing this as a media stint because he's not the starting quarterback anymore? I don't know. But, like, I don't care. It's the Browns. Right. And there's all these people talking about it. It's like, good for you. You're taking a small little issue of one guy, and you've made it a national issue that most people do not care about. Yeah. Or I don't pay attention to it, you know. Uh, those yeah. who are interested, I put in the chat room about the pipeline inside the chat room, so you can look at that. I was looking for a protest where you can actually sign a petition, but I can't seem to find anything for that yet. Because I've been, like I said, I've been following a little bit about it, but not a whole lot since I've been out of town. But it's just stupid. I mean, there's pictures on Facebook. Hey, you're not going to, like, bulldoze out, you know, other cemeteries. Why are you bulldozing theirs? It's, it's just not it's just I've not seen right. that, yeah. Yeah, and it's just and, like... And, and go ahead. There's just no major media on it. Which no. makes no sense. They literally went to these people and used attack dogs and mace. And no one cares. Yeah. No one cares. Well, it's, it's I, I look at these pictures and it's like, I know these people. These are people I know. These are people I've talked to. I've eaten dinner with these people. And it's like, these people, the, I've, I've, got bo- I've got a bottle of water next to me. Could you imagine having the fight for clean water? We are talking the, the human, the one of the, the, the top human necessity. You don't need fire. Yes, food, food and water. And you are talking water. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And these people have to fight for it. And they're not fighting. They're sitting there being peaceful. And, 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 and I don't know. I could go on forever about it, but there's plenty of articles. There's plenty. Of, you Google it and you can read all about it. But what bothers me is just that major media hasn't covered it and we're focused on this quarterback guy, which doesn't make sense because mm-hmm. I've had plenty well, of him already. Believe it or not, I mean, I am Cherokee and I am Choctaw and rest, the rest of me is old mm-hmm. Viking. But, and I have a little bit uh, a heart, you know, heart goes towards Native Americans because they have been shafted all through history and now they're getting shafted again. And it uh-huh. just, I'm going to swear now, it just pisses me off that my Half of my blood is getting shafted again in this, this, you know, this stupidity is like, I can go through history. I, I can rant and rave about it too, but I'll be polite. No, I'm not going to, I'm not going to be polite. <laughs> it's, it's, it's controversial. We can do these kind of things. So it's just like, you know, everyone comes over here and took the land and has already been in habitat and then put Native Americans on a reservation in, a, in Oklahoma or whatever. And that's your place. And now they're able to scatter it everywhere. And now they're getting scattered again. And, and there's just, it's just, I just like really ticks me off. And that's my rant. There you go. <laughs> yeah. And, 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 I, and I will tell you that I, I know some, I don't know all 3,000. Um, I'm not that popular, trust me. Um, but I, <laughs> I, I, I know anyway. these people dun, out dun, there. Dun. There we go. And, and we talk to them, and it's like these people aren't going anywhere. I mean, they have they have refrigerators, they have camps set up. I mean, they are not they are not going to move. No. And I'm, I, they're not going to go anywhere until this pipeline is stopped. And I mean, you look at pictures, it is literally, people have tents, people have, people have been there since April. Started with like 10 people in April. And we're talking 3,000 people now. So at what point, how much, uh, my question is, how many people is it going to take for this to be um, uh, on mainstream media? What's it going to take for this to be a big enough thing to post about? 
I mean, it's all over Facebook, but you're not seeing CNN. You're not seeing, I've seen on HLN, stuff like that. But I, but you look at, the, there's two big news outlets you have. There's three. There's NBC, Fox, and CNN. And neither, none of those have covered it, which makes zero yeah. sense. And it's it, it's kind of an underlying issue with how the media is with everything. It's like right now we've got that going on, and we've got Venezuela is basically imploding, like completely. Just the entire country is a disaster zone, mm-hmm. and and you don't hear about it. You absolutely do not hear about it at all unless you go and look for it yourself. Because mm-hmm. I mean, it, it's obviously not important for for the people who who run the stories and things, they don't care. It's not here in the U.S. It's not bothering our interests, but people are, are starving to death. The rations are gone. There, there's n- almost no law there. I mean, what's... <laughs> we've got people starving here. We've got people starving in all over the world, and it, it you know, you don't hear about it unless you look for it, and yeah. you should yeah. be able to hear about it. You should hear about this stuff all the time. Everyone should know about these things. Because we should be given the option to do something about it. Yeah, like, I, like, like quickly. I, I googled CNN, Colin Kaepernick, Kaepernick. I don't know. One point three, one million three hundred eighty thousand results came up for CNN, Colin Kaepernick. Okay, let me open a new tab. CNN, Dakota protest. One hundred seventy three thousand results. We are mm. talking ten percent. CNN has covered. 10% of what they've covered. I mean, 10 to 1 from, from this quarterback to the Dakota Access Pipeline. And it's not just the Dakota Access Pipeline. Yes, it's a huge issue, and I can go on forever. But there are other things we should be concerned about. Much bigger, bigger things that we should be concerned about than, mm-hmm. than that. Right. Totally agree. And, and I, mean, I could go on forever. I'm sure we all, I'm sure all three of us could. And then it's just one of the things that the mainstream media controls what's it's they 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 put out what they want for a reason. Mm. Yeah. I mean, technically, I'm looking at some of the maps I found on 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 here. They could easily go a different direction with the pipeline than going through there. Um, I know. There's they actually rerouted it. They rerouted it through, through Bismarck to the um, through that reservation. So, and I mean, there's people from Canada, New York, my mom's been out there. It's just like, there's people going and there's people that, I mean, I watch these videos. There's a video online. I could pull it up of the the attack dogs. And I look at the the guy on the horseback who's getting attacked by a dog. And I know that guy. Mm. I, I know him. So it's like. Like wow, this is this is a problem. These are people I know, yeah. and nobody cares. I mean, there's people mm. who care, but it's like, what's it going to take for mainstream media to say, okay, we'll we'll take this snowball and run with it? Mm. Well, what's going to happen really is that someone has to. I'm sorry to say this, but someone's going to have to die and sacrifice Something, themselves. Yeah. To get any kind of um, reaction to what's going on, how dangerous it is for this to happen, and it's then, almost and like that, getting into like like Wild West, like yeah. Pinkerton mercenaries, security services yep. kind of stuff. And it's like, it's, why would we let this kind of stuff happen again? It's got to become controversial because if it's not controversial, it's not going to be popular. That's why we talk about Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton all day because there's controversy in there. There's yeah. excitement. Mm-hmm. There's I want to know what's going to happen tomorrow. I want to know what's going to happen tomorrow. I want to hear the next poll. And until they can, I mean, to me, there's plenty of controversy already, but until the mainstream media says, okay, we can go with this, but they need something controversial to happen like that. Mm-hmm. And hear it from a very young person like yourself is should be more eye-opening than hearing it from someone who's been around for ages. You know what I'm say- saying? Oh, You're, yeah. like, into this and speaking up for everyone here. And you're at, you're at such a young age, but you're, so, but you're also very um, controversial when it comes to the kind of topic and you very know your stuff. So it's very unusual for a teenager like yourself 
to, you know, to know these things and to have an open mind and to talk about this kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, to me, at any age, you just have to be open to just, yeah. you know, soaking up ideas. Absolutely. You know? and, and everyone's going to, there's going to be people out there with different opinions, which is, that's the beauty of human beings. But right. to me, what's happening, that's kind of a, a bipartisan idea is the, these people, you're not looking at the color of their skin. You're not looking at um, their culture. You're not going to look at their religion. You're not going to look, I don't care if they're a smurf and they're blue, they're fighting for water. Yeah. And to me, it's a bipartisan idea that everyone should care about. Mm-hmm. Well, I remember uh, ages ago that someone fought for the drinking water for a plant that exploded and then seeped into the ground. They won, but a lot of people have actually died with, with poisoning. I mean, mm-hmm. is this what's going to have to happen with this? We tell people actually take this serious. People got to die with, with food or with uh, water poisoning. Or to get the idea, hey, this is a bad idea. I mean, I mean, I don't know. Is this real? Is this really, really stupid? And I hope that the North Dakota Indian Reservation wins. Yeah, it's just gonna, it's just going to take time, and they're, I know they're not going to leave, but it's just it, it's just going to take time. That's the only thing. Yeah. And if I had a chance to get out there and podcast live, I would do it in a heartbeat. Well, I, you probably could. Yeah. There's always, there's people out there who talk. They want people to know about it. Well, give, give them my email and we'll go out there. Well, I'll go out there. I don't know about Spider, but I'll go <laughs> out there. <laughs> my little pod, my podcast um, is, my podcast is very, very small, Spokane. but we'll get it out there. Spokane, Washington. Tacoma. Yeah. I wonder how far it is. I don't know. Tacoma or Spokane? Toca- to, uh, Tacoma. You're talking. Tacoma. Tacoma. What? I heard Spokane. You I'm keep saying Spokane. Too, you... you keep saying Spokane. I've heard f- Spokane multiple times. No, only you <laughs> said Spokane. I've been saying Tacoma for the past three hours. Well, two hours. For three hours, I've been saying Tacoma. <laughs> You've been saying Spokane. I heard Spokane. Yeah, out of your it's- mouth. <laughs> This is an abomination. Yes, it is, and I'm going to win. Damn it! <laughs> that's USA's like the so that's the that's the other side of Washington. Yes, it is. It's right what by Seattle. Washington? Like Spider and I, we have corn. We, we share that. Like, what what what's what's the main main stem of Washington? Uh, Mariners, Seahawks, uh, <laughs> coffee. Ford? Coffee, Starbucks, Coffee. Portland. Yeah, no, Portland completely is a different. Is in Oregon. We're we're not in Oregon. We're in Washington. Mount Rainier, Mount uh, Mount St. Helen. Oh. You probably uh, have a good export of, of hipsters, don't you? <laughs> no, that's probably I, I, true. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we got good coffee. That's about it. Yeah. Uh, then we, you're right there with Canada. Yeah, we're right by there. Uh, also, Tacoma Dome. Right by them. We're at Tacoma Dome. Tacoma Dome. Uh, with the Cisco Field. Wamu Theater. Uh, what else is? What else do we have? Um, I don't know. See, right next to Tacoma, there's yeah. New Tacoma. Yes. Who would have thought? Who would have thought of that name? Hey, you old, know what we're going to do? Old Town we're gonna Tacoma. We're going to take Tacoma. Old Town Tacoma. And we're going to take Tacoma. You know what we're going to do? We're going to make new Tacoma. Absolutely. Because We're people... going to take Chicago. Okay? Get this. And we're going to make new Chicago. Who would have thought? <laughs> now it sounds like a sci-fi movie. Okay, we're going to go to new Chicago. Tacoma. We're going to get those aliens. You got that Tacoma Mall. You got South Tacoma. See what? And I, you got to tell me what's between North Tacoma and South Tacoma. What's what's going on? That's what's it's going all, up. It, it all depends on on the district and what you roll into. Some is hilltop, bad area. Other part is all, you know, preppy stuff. It all depends where you travel to. Some some not some See, I, a lot I, nicer I, area. Some places aren't. It's not. See, I pull up South Tacoma, and it's like, okay, cute little town, nice little, little deal. And then you go to the north end of Tacoma, and it is like, whoa. Yeah. I'm kidding. It's just, it's just there's a lake. There's 
Uh, there's a railroad track in North Tacoma. Who would have thought? Who would have thought?